I did have a question. Just remember it actually as you were speaking. Um, as the revenue sources, the property taxes, because I know that when I was kind of going in the community, a lot of it was we're paying a lot of money in property taxes. Mm -hmm. Can you clarify a little bit how it's collected and how, the, what if, if not going too much in depth, but how the mechanisms is that we as a city collect the property taxes and how it helps out? Or is that a loaded question? No, I, well, so the property taxes <laughs> in, in a nutshell. So there's the 1%, we call it ad valorem. Mm -hmm. So that, that is 1% of your assessed value. That, that is the traditional base property tax that, that the, goes to the general fund. Okay. So when I talk about a property taxes in the general fund um, and the revenue growing over time, when I talk about uh, growth in construction and real estate assessments, so that, that has a direct impact to that 1% of assessment value. Obviously, the new home gets built, and that's priced at the market value, right? And it's assessed at that value by the county. That's going to add to that revenue. Okay. And so, yes, that could be a, depending on the market, that could be a very high amount. Yes, absolutely. But then on top of that, if you live in particular parts of the city, right, within a community facilities district, um, you're going to have additional levies or an assessment district, like a street, maintenance, lighting, uh, landscape. Um, and then it's not just the city, right? We also have the CSD. They have, they have also um, additional levies as well. And, uh, and this will be presented in the flyer that's coming out this summer. Uh, we actually have a little graphic that shows the uh, Al Grove residents when they pay property tax, the different different buckets, the different agencies that that, that, that amount goes to, just that 1% ad valorem based. We're only getting a small, the city of Al Grove only gets a very small fraction of that, that ad valorem. And then, yes, so if you live in an area where you have a community facilities district uh, uh, levies and you know you have a street, a street district and lighting district levies on top of that, you pay more. Okay. Yeah. So, yes. Thank I, you. Yeah, I just, definitely. We're, I had it written down, I just forgot to ask, but that's one of the questions that continues to come up within the community. So, good job.